as he always does at the start of an inning. First pitch swinging, Maui Ahuna turns it around in the right center field. For Tony Vitello, his group had to see Paul Skeens on Saturday, and no problem for Hunter Ensley. No, Hunter Ensley put on a show. Golden Spikes Ward semifinalist, second in the country in innings and third in strikeouts. But he decided to come back. This is pulled, and a fair ball down the right field line for Jared Dickey. Maui Ahuna goes first to third, and the balls are cooking off Quinn Matthews here in the first. Well, one thing you see with Jared Dickey, it's elite bat to ball skills. He can handle pitches in all parts of the strike zone. And now a 3-2. Merritt skies this one to left. Alberto Rios creeps in. Ahuna readies. And Rios unleashes one to the plate. It's perfect. Inning over. It's a group that is 11th in the country and runs per game. And, Burke, you mentioned it off the top. First rounder against first rounder when Tommy Troy climbs in. Yeah, yeah Chase Dolan, 450 ERA, seven wins. How about 118 punch outs, only 28 walks. Four pitch mix. Spruce tree, a cousin of the pine tree. Go. That's down and Graham walks. The 1 0. Montgomery to the backside on a line drive, and that's a base hit. A couple of base runners on both sides in the respective first innings here in Omaha. Just when it looked like Chase Dolander was going to breeze through the first. The off-speed stuff has not been as good. Runners go. The pitch, a ball, the throw. The board. second goes into center. Graham scores. Stanford leads. This is hammered down the line and left. A fair ball into the corner to score Braden Montgomery. The Pac-12 player of the year, Alberto Rios, makes it to Zip Cardinal. Yeah, and this looked like a changeup to me, a right on right changeup, 90 miles an hour. One two pitch for Jared Dickey to end the inning. Yeah, that's of course right. It, it starts being left handed. Fits. Blake Burke on the ground, sharply passed Timo Becerra. When you ask Quinn Matthews, what about Morgan Waller? He, I was impressed though, he knew who Morgan Waller was, and he said his family does listen to some country music. This is Zane Denton, switch hitting third baseman, who's down in the seventh spot, and he pulls one on the line to left. And a couple of hits with one out. This is Christian Scott now, eight spot right fielder. The veteran takes great chance. He can get the heater by you. Two one. Two two. Breaking ball again. First strikeout for Quinn Matthews. Big time here. First and second, only one out. Got behind the count 2-1. Fished a breaking ball in there to get back to 2-2. Two, two. A one. It's a big part of their second half turnaround. And made it to Omaha for the second time in three years. 3-1. Three, 3-2. One. Three, Cut on and miss. There's the fastball from Quinn Matthews. He fans two and leaves two in this second. Yeah, Quinn Matthews first and second, only one out. Not a problem for him. Punches out Christian Scott, so it kind of stays on plane. The other one, yeah, and that's three in a row, right to the top, too. And, and that's what Double Andrew can do to you, because the command's good enough. Only 28 walks and 86 innings coming in. So he gets his first two strikes right at the top of the zone, put it behind you. It's very difficult to do. On the ground to short, uh, Maui Ahuna. One, two, three. Doubt you. It was kind of a dark cloud around us. He said when he got the job, and he is built. Jared Dickey in the shallow right, and Braden Montgomery. Well, we expect another good one because these games have been wild so far. Eddie Park insists he got hit on the foot from a curveball there from Chase Dolander, and so he leans, he leaves, yeah. and a ball, and he swipes second without a throw. And now a three-two to Troy inside against Texas. Long hold, 0-1. 1-1. 1-2. One. One, one. One, and a strikeout up the ladder at 96. Second K for Dolander and a big first out in the third. Yeah, that's what he does. I mean, you look at it on the year. The 0-1. On the ground, up the middle, past the dive of Christian Moore and into center. Eddie Park scores, and it's 3-0 Stanford in the third. Well, great offenses turn free bases into runs, and Stanford has certainly done this. 2-1. And Hunter Ensley, Troy tags, Ensley's throw is cut. Malcolm Moore dribbles the first one back at Dolander. Mustard and catch up on Mahadog. Good slider again for Quinn Matthews, who's got four Ks. And it feels like every time he's even in the count, behind the count, it's something all speed. And 3-2 count here again, thinking you're getting fastball. A decent amount left. Oh, good breaking ball. That's the rarely used curveball from Quinn Matthews. His 0-2.
Fastball up the ladder and Bowser gets to it. Elimination game between two of the top three teams in the country entering this year. Dolander departs. They bluff. And strike three calls. The runner might have bluffed. Well, but there ain't no bluff to this well, fastball. This? this is high knees. I mean, what, that, what we got going on a, here? We're doing like calisthenics <laughs> over at first base. She's a no-show. Eddie Park lines it to center. And Hunter Ensley. You got to reset and get back to what was working for you. This is a guy that plays off of frustration. Mm. Right on cue. Mm -hmm. Bends it across the zone, and it's strikeout number six for Quinn Matthews and out number one in the yep. fifth. The catcher struck out on a fastball his first time, and he turns around the off speed here. Maui Ahuna, the leadoff man, single and a strikeout for Ahuna. Line to the backside, base hit Ahuna. Tennessee's got him loaded. First pitch, oh. that roll. Sitting off speed. Matthews deals. Breaking ball pulled to left at Alberto Rios, who circles. Denton tags, Rios fires, the tag, not in time! Tennessee's on the board. Safe. First pitch, Matthews 0-1. Dickey, 1-2. Payoff pitch, Dickey on the ground foul. 3-2, Dickey lines it. Pass Becerra in the center. Stark races around and scores. Two run ball game in the fifth. It, it's a bad like that's why you buy a ticket. That's why you love the game of baseball. It's great versus great, and Jared Dickey wins this one. What an at bat. A one. This is laced in the left by Merritt. They stop Ahuna at third. Fly out to left, first pitch. The ball flight you're looking for. Quinn Matthews deals. Now in Omaha. One, two. Double up in there. Change up, rolled in the center field, a base hit. Ahuna scores. Dickey's right behind him. And Christian Moore delivers. He didn't double up on it. No, that's what you call sticking to your approach. Maybe into his dugout. Ball. Ball. 3 0. Ball four. Burke walks. And if this is it, what a career it's been for the Cardinal, for the left hander. Winner plays Tuesday night against whoever loses between LSU and Wake tonight. Ball. Dow to Denton. Hey. Ball. 3-1. Hey. That's a strike at the top of the zone and a full count on Denton. Dow delivers. Payoff again. Dowd to Denton. To Zane Denton. Yes, did. did he go? Yes. And it's a strikeout to end the inning. 3-2. Cut on and missed. Mm, that's not fair. Throw me a hundred up, and then three-two count. I think I'm getting a fastball. And Chase Burns just brings this elite slider. Oh, a lot there. Gas at 101 up the ladder from Chase Burns. Come on now, Chase Burns. Did you just hear what they had to say directly to me? And the second was. Um, I knew I would learn a lot, and both of those things have turned out to be true. What so, have you learned? What, what, what are you hearing from the different conference commissioners? With their classmates and their schoolmates. And I'll tell you. Four run fifth inning. Oh, got and another hit batter. You know, the classes of this lack of any, and the question is, mythology of the coach, I mean, for, for some parameters. And when I say publicly available information. Burns 1-2 to Rios. Is lined in the left field to base hit. The 0-1. 1-2. 2-2. Oh. Two, two. Burns 2-2. Two, 2-2. Two. Two, two. More weights on a 2-2. Two, two. And strikes out. Ooh. Strike three called out of Hundo. Well, that's just my best against yours. Chase Burns versus Drew Bowser. And watch the action on this four-seam fastball. 22-80. And again, that is elite. Oh, and Cobb bunts it to third, and he's on. With the first pitch, bunt single to put two on for Stanford with two outs here in the sixth. And Becerra has hit. Lines it to left at Dickey, who makes the catch. We right now are in bracket two. Wake and LSU, like we said tonight. 3-2. Misses. He's been on twice. Lines this one to left. Down the line, and it's a fair ball into the corner.
Merritt to third, and he stops there on a ringing opposite field double for Blake Burke. Ball jumps off his back. I mean, he can really. 1 0. Denton lines it towards short at Timo Becerra, and Tennessee leads. Five out of six one run games. How about that? There it is. First time in men's college world series history. Panthers 2 2 to Scott. He's down and goes through the wickets. Burke to the plate, and he scores. 6 4 balls. Right through the five hole. Mikey, I know you're a hockey guy. This is. Uh, hey. Strike three hey. called out of Christian Scott. His good four pitch mix, even as a reliever. Strikes out Graham. He told us this week it's pretty cool to be a guy in the pen. Up and around the belt. It's this one hard off the glove of a diving Timo Becerra. And that's the third hit of the ball game for Maui Ahuna, this time on 91 for a one-out single. And then the RBI single. Blew out to right, pulls back Morris, throws a dart. Wow. Got him. Throws out Maui Ahuna to end the top of the eighth. Yes, he did. Yeah, that's yes, he a did. real curve. Montgomery went around on it. And Stark caps the K. I mean, it, this is just not fair. I mean, it's... It is four elite pitches is what I'm seeing right now. Oh, we got an ejection? A warning. I'm not sure. Yeah, it looks, it looks like a warning. Chase Burns, tell me what he's done. Another strikeout. That's eight of them. Malcolm Moore lines one to right, and it's right at Christian Whoa. Scott, Whoa. who hangs on to it. Stanford reliever Brant Panzer, stung to right by Dickey. Third head of the ball game for Jared Dickey, who thought about second on a Montgomery bobble. Their senior star was the starter. On the ground at Becerra, the turn from Bowser is an easy two. Six, four, three for Brent Panzer here in the ninth. It's here in the postseason. Panzer strikes out more. Five losses here at Charles Schwab Fields. No swing again from Bowser. And now Bowser's telling Tony Vitello to get back in the Tennessee dugout. Hey. Strike three calls. Game. Chase Burns was brilliant. Tennessee stays alive. Chase Burns can go celebrate with his teammates. This guy was incredible. He's the first reliever here to go nine strikeouts, no walks.